nailed it. One try. Easy. Good morning. It's been three months since we last did a vlog. <laughs> and we didn't stop because we weren't enjoying ourselves. Vlogging was very fun. We kind of stopped for the most stupid reason on the face of the planet. Why did we stop, George? We lost the charger. We lost... <laughs> okay, I lost the charger. That's probably a more accurate statement. Um, we were filming up until right after Christmas, and um, we filmed pretty much up until we went down to Florida to visit my grandparents, um, but then uh, unexpectedly while we were on that trip, my grandfather passed away, um, which was really sudden, and... I mean, he was sick, but we didn't think he'd pass away on that trip. Mm. Well, it was like the, the second day we were there. I really feel really lucky that I did get to see him one more time, because he lives very far. Um, and I'll always definitely feel really grateful for that. It was a very hard week for my family, and obviously we didn't want to film that. And then we got back uh, from that trip, and I immediately went into a two-week intensive... Uh, class for my graduate program and that kept us busy, kept me busy. Mm -hmm. It was two full weekends of eight hours a day of classes. Um, and then I, uh, I had to use this camera to for a part of my thesis project and then after that we just lost the charger cable. Mm -hmm. It was just gone. <laughs> and we got so into um, School was just really intense, and so was work, and we just didn't look for it. Yeah, but I found it. You did find it. He found it yesterday, cleaning on the table right over there, which, wow, goes to show how much I piled stuff. <laughs> it was quite a pile. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks really good now. Um, yes, it does. Since the cable has died, I think we all know what's happened. A world pandemic broke out that I don't think I have to explain because we all know. And um, we live in Massachusetts, but I think everyone knows that and Massachusetts is kind of a hotbed for it right now. And a couple weeks ago, murmurs started happening about things shutting down, not just not just like gatherings. And then George's work semi closed. Um, and then my work closed, and then my work laid everyone off, temporarily, um, because they couldn't keep supporting us, and they wanted us to have access to government help. Um, so I am currently not working, besides schoolwork, and I'm hoping to... Still in school. Though. Yeah, I'm still in school. My school has gone online. Same Honestly, yeah, my, the school stuff has been the easiest part for me. I'm so close to graduating, everything's pretty much taken care of. Um, and I know we don't normally talk a lot about our jobs or school on the vlogs that we did. Um, and that's not going to change, mostly because <laughs> I'm not working. So yeah, obviously the world's a really different place than it was when we stopped vlogging. But we're plan not planning on changing much. We're still... we're. We're filming right now on Monday, um, but going forward... The 30th. The 30th of <laughs> March. But going forward, what days are. We'll, we're going to just start doing weekend vlogs again. I mean, I know that I'm not working during the week and probably will continue to not work for a good month or so. Hopefully not longer than that. But we want to still be on the weekends. Because um, that's where we thrive. We might do a little bit more vlogging today. But we wanted to give everybody an update. Um, we disappeared, and I really, really, really missed vlogging. Because obviously we're not, like, doing this for fame or money or any of that. We just love YouTube. Mm -hmm. We've always been kind of YouTube nerds. We've been, we just kind of love 
just the idea of being able to just create things, just being a normal person. And yeah. but more than could upload anything. Yeah, more than anything, we just love having those memories of just those days that we would normally just forget. Those weekends, mm -hmm. those five weekends that we did. Now we have evidence that we go outside. Yeah, I mean, not went now, outside. Yes. No, no, not right now. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We have evidence that at one point we could go outside. So, yeah. After so. we've been in quarantine for three years, we can look back and be like, "Oh man, outside was great." Oh jeez, I hope it's not that long. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Going forward, the vlogs will probably look like a lot of hiking because that's really all you can do safely these days. Yeah. Um, and just hanging out and being us talking about books and movies and cooking and everything. We feel really grateful for the situation we're in. You have to take stock of what you have. And we have a lot. We have so many people in our lives who love us. We have everything we really need. And we just know it'll just get better from here. And we're very optimistic, right? So yeah, we'll see you later. So it's um, like five o'clock and I'm about to make dinner. And I thought I'd show the process of making the one of two things I know how to make, three things, which is meatloaf. It's possibly the easiest dish of all time and also one of my favorite meals because I am a complete carnivore. This is our stove. It's small, but actually quite powerful. So you start by setting the oven to about 375. Here are all my ingredients. This is all you need. Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce and then some ground beef, egg, and Quaker oats. First you put the meat in the bowl. And also it's really important to have your partner support <laughs> during this time. <laughs> Then oatmeal. I do two kinds put together, old fashioned and quick. Um, and I do a lot of oatmeal because it tends to make it more. Uh -huh. That's on the camera now. <laughs> more juicy. <laughs> then barbecue sauce. Um, I'm actually not putting as much as I normally do because I'm running very low on my precious sweet baby rays. And. It, I'm no chef, so I'm probably super wrong in saying this, but I found that it doesn't super matter if you have a ton of barbecue sauce in the meatloaf. You probably, you just wanna make sure you put some on after. Then a single egg. Now this is actually a point of controversy because I don't actually think the egg's super necessary. I like a, there's no good way to put this, a looser meatloaf, but some people, think it needs the egg, right? This is a point of contention between us. What is? Whether or not the meatloaf needs the egg. It, uh, I mean, need is a strong word, but it helps. And combine. And it's shaped. Now, I tend to make mine kind of thin, because I find it cooks a little faster that way. So there we go. Now put it in the oven for 35 minutes. Oh, he's gone. I almost caught him on camera. A George sighting. Or George hunters. Where'd he go? Ha! Ah! <laughs> I thought. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh my. Was it? Was it worth it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Whew. Now I'm sitting down and I well, can't get up. Well, I, should I help? I don't know. Okay, down here. Okay. Bye. I love you. Out of the oven. Looking like a pile of meat. And now for the most crucial step. Absolutely smother it with barbecue sauce. And that is how you make meatloaf the way I do it, which is really, really basic. I'm sure it would make some actual chefs want to cry. All right, after dinner, me and George are about to do a movie night with Scott over FaceTime because 
of social distancing. We're not allowed to see each other. And now you're on camera. Hi. Oh God. Oh, say goodnight, Scotty. Good night. <laughs> Good night. See you this weekend.